Retaining walls are structures that hold back soil. They are used to create level areas on sloped land. This is important for many reasons. Retaining walls can prevent erosion and landslides. They can also create usable space for gardens, patios, and buildings. Retaining walls work by counteracting the force of gravity. Soil naturally wants to move downhill. Retaining walls provide a barrier that stops this movement. They do this by transferring the force of the soil to the ground. Retaining walls are essential for many construction projects. They are used in residential, commercial, and infrastructure development. Without retaining walls, it would be much more difficult and expensive to build on sloped land. There are many different types of retaining walls. Each type has its own advantages and disadvantages. The best type of retaining wall for a particular project will depend on several factors. These factors include the height of the wall, the type of soil, and the budget. Gravity walls are the simplest type of retaining wall. They rely on their own weight to hold back the soil. Gravity walls are typically made of concrete, stone, or brick. Cantilever walls are more complex than gravity walls. They use a T-shaped design to resist the force of the soil. Cantilever walls are typically made of reinforced concrete. Anchored walls are the most complex type of retaining wall. They use anchors that are drilled into the ground to provide additional support. Anchored walls are used for very high walls or for walls that are built on weak soil. Building a retaining wall is a complex process. It is important to carefully plan the project and to follow all of the necessary steps. Here is a simplified guide to building a retaining wall. The first step is to excavate the area where the wall will be built. The excavation should be deep enough to accommodate the foundation of the wall. The foundation of the wall is important for providing stability. The foundation should be made of compacted gravel or concrete. The wall can be built using a variety of materials, such as concrete blocks, bricks, or stones. The wall should be built in layers, with each layer being backfilled and compacted. Once the wall is built, it needs to be backfilled with gravel or soil. The backfill helps to stabilize the wall and prevent it from tipping over. The final step is to finish the wall. This may involve adding a capstone, mortar, or other decorative elements. Section 4. Key Considerations for Retaining Wall Design and Construction When designing and constructing a retaining wall, it is important to consider a number of factors. These factors will help to ensure that the wall is safe, stable, and long-lasting. Proper drainage is essential for retaining walls. Water that is allowed to build up behind the wall can create hydrostatic pressure. This pressure can cause the wall to fail. Drainage can be provided by installing drainage pipes or by using gravel backfill. The type of soil is also an important consideration. Different types of soil have different properties. Some soils are more prone to expansion and contraction than others. This movement can put stress on the wall and cause it to fail. The height of the wall is another important factor. Taller walls require more support than shorter walls. The foundation and the wall itself will need to be designed to withstand the increased forces. It is important to check with local building codes before constructing a retaining wall. There may be regulations regarding the height of the wall, the materials that can be used, or the need for a permit. Section 5. The importance of professional expertise in retaining wall projects. Building a retaining wall is not a DIY project. It is a complex engineering feat that requires specialized knowledge and experience. If you are planning to build a retaining wall, it is important to consult with a qualified professional. A qualified professional will be able to assess the site and determine the best type of retaining wall for your needs. They can design a wall that is safe, stable, and meets all local building codes. They will also supervise the construction process to ensure that the wall is built correctly. By hiring a professional, you can have peace of mind knowing that your retaining wall is in good hands. You can also avoid costly mistakes that could result in the failure of the wall. Retaining walls are structures that hold back soil, preventing erosion and managing water runoff. They are essential in both residential and commercial landscaping projects. They are commonly used in landscaping to create level areas on sloped terrain, making otherwise unusable land functional and aesthetically pleasing. Retaining walls can transform a steep hillside into a beautiful terraced garden. Retaining walls can be built using various materials, including concrete blocks, timber and wall panels. Each material offers different benefits, such as durability, cost-effectiveness, and ease of installation. 
This guide focuses on building a retaining wall using wall panels, a method that is becoming increasingly popular due to its ease of installation and attractive finish. Wall panels are versatile and can be customized to fit any design preference. Wall panels are prefabricated units that interlock or attach to posts, simplifying the construction process. This modular approach allows for quicker assembly and reduces the need for specialized tools or skills. They offer a streamlined approach compared to traditional methods, making them ideal for DIY enthusiasts. With wall panels, even beginners can achieve professional-looking results with minimal effort. This step-by-step -step guide will provide you with all the information you need to successfully build your retaining wall. From planning and preparation to the final touches, we've got you covered. Before you begin, it's essential to assess your project's scale and complexity. Take accurate measurements of your site and consider factors such as soil type, drainage, and the height of the wall. If you're dealing with a large or particularly challenging site, consulting with a professional contractor or engineer is advisable. Their expertise can help you navigate potential issues and ensure your wall is built to last. Their expertise can help ensure your project's safety and structural integrity. Proper planning and professional advice can save you time, money, and effort in the long run, making your retaining wall project a success. Before you start digging, careful planning is crucial. This involves assessing your site, determining the materials you'll need, and obtaining any necessary permits. Begin by examining the area where you intend to build the retaining wall. Carefully measure the length and height of the proposed wall. This will determine the number of wall panels, posts, and other materials required. Consider the slope of the land and the type of soil. These factors can influence the design and stability of your wall. Contact your local building department to inquire about permits. Building codes may vary depending on your location and the height of the wall. Obtaining the necessary permits ensures your project complies with regulations and safeguards against potential issues. A strong foundation is paramount for a durable and long-lasting retaining wall. The base distributes the weight of the wall and the retained soil, preventing it from settling or shifting over time. Start by marking the outline of the wall with stakes and string. This will guide your excavation. Dig a trench that is wider than the wall panels and deep enough to accommodate a gravel base. The depth of the trench will vary depending on the height of the wall and the composition of your soil. Consult online resources or local professionals for guidance on determining the appropriate depth for your specific project. Fill the trench with a layer of gravel, compacting it firmly with a tamper. The gravel base promotes drainage, preventing water from pooling behind the wall and compromising its integrity. A well-compacted base ensures a level surface for the wall panels, enhancing its stability. With the base prepared, you can begin installing the posts that will support the wall panels. Place the posts at regular intervals along the trench, ensuring they are plumb and level. Use a post level to check both the vertical and horizontal alignment of each post. Secure the posts in place with concrete. Mix the concrete according to the manufacturer's instructions and pour it into the post holes. Use a trowel to create a slight slope away from the post, facilitating water runoff. Allow the concrete to cure completely before attaching the wall panels. Once the concrete has cured, you can begin attaching the wall panels to the posts. Most wall panel systems feature interlocking mechanisms or brackets for easy installation. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully, ensuring that each panel is level and securely fastened. Section 5. Backfilling and Drainage Essential Steps In this section, we will cover the critical steps involved in ensuring your retaining wall remains stable and effective over time. Backfilling and drainage are crucial aspects of retaining wall construction. Without proper backfilling and drainage, the wall can become unstable and fail. Proper backfilling ensures stability, while effective drainage prevents water buildup behind the wall. Water buildup can exert pressure on the wall, leading to potential damage or collapse. Use a free draining material, such as gravel or crushed stone, for backfilling. These materials allow water to pass through easily, reducing hydrostatic pressure. Avoid using soil as it can retain water and create pressure against the wall. Soil can become saturated and heavy, leading to increased stress on the retaining wall structure. As you backfill, compact the material in layers to prevent settling. Layered compaction helps maintain the integrity of the backfill and ensures long-term stability. 
Use a hand tamper or a plate compactor for effective compaction. These tools help achieve the necessary density and prevent future settling issues. Install drainage features behind the wall to direct water away from the structure. Proper drainage is essential to prevent water from accumulating and causing damage. Weep holes, drainage pipes, or a combination of both can be used. These features help manage water flow and reduce pressure on the wall. Weep holes are small openings at the base of the wall that allow water to escape. They are a simple yet effective way to manage water behind the wall. Drainage pipes installed behind the wall collect and channel water to a designated drainage area. This helps keep the area behind the wall dry and reduces hydrostatic pressure. Incorporate a filter fabric between the backfill material and the drainage features to prevent clogging. The filter fabric allows water to pass through while keeping soil particles out, ensuring the drainage system remains effective. Section 6. Finishing Touches, Capping and Cleanup With the wall panels installed and the backfilling complete, you can add finishing touches to enhance its appearance and longevity. Consider installing caps on the top of the wall. Caps provide a polished look and protect the top of the wall from weathering. Caps are typically available in materials that match the wall panels and can be secured with adhesive or mechanical fasteners. Once the caps are in place, inspect the entire wall for any gaps or imperfections. Fill any gaps with sealant or mortar to prevent water infiltration and enhance the wall's aesthetics. Clean up the work area thoroughly, removing debris, tools and excess materials. Dispose of waste materials properly according to local regulations. Your newly constructed retaining wall is now complete, adding both functionality and aesthetic appeal to your landscape. Section 7. Safety first. Protecting yourself during construction. Safety should always be a top priority during any construction project, including building a retaining wall. Take the necessary precautions to protect yourself and those around you from potential hazards. Wear appropriate safety gear, including gloves, safety glasses, and work boots. Gloves protect your hands from abrasions, while safety glasses shield your eyes from flying debris. Work boots provide ankle support and protect your feet from sharp objects. When operating power tools, such as a plate compactor, wear ear protection to reduce noise exposure. Be mindful of underground utilities, such as gas lines or electrical cables. Contact your local utility companies to have these lines marked before you begin digging. Exercise caution when working with concrete. It is an alkaline substance that can cause skin irritation. Section 8. Troubleshooting. Common Issues and Solutions. In this section, we will explore some of the most common problems you might face when building a retaining wall and provide practical solutions to address them. While building a retaining wall is a manageable DIY project, you may encounter some common issues along the way. These issues can range from structural problems to drainage concerns, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are a few troubleshooting tips to help you address them effectively. By following these tips, you can ensure your retaining wall remains sturdy and functional for years to come. Issue wall leaning or bulging. This is a common problem that can compromise the integrity of your wall. Solution. Ensure the base is level and compacted properly. A solid foundation is crucial for the stability of your retaining wall. Check that the posts are plumb and securely anchored in concrete. This will help prevent any leaning or bulging over time. If the wall is retaining a significant amount of soil, consider incorporating geogrid reinforcement for added stability. This reinforcement can help distribute the load more evenly. Issue water pooling behind the wall. Poor drainage can lead to water buildup, which can weaken the wall over time. Solution. Verify that the drainage features are functioning correctly. Proper drainage is essential to prevent water-related damage. Clear any obstructions in the weep holes or drainage pipes. Regular maintenance can help keep the drainage system working efficiently. If water buildup persists, it may be necessary to install additional drainage measures. This can include adding more drainage pipes or creating a trench to direct water away from the wall. Issue gaps between wall panels. These gaps can allow water to seep through and cause damage. Solution. Ensure that the panels are properly aligned and interlocked. Proper alignment is key to maintaining the wall's structural integrity. If gaps remain, use sealant or mortar to fill them, preventing water infiltration and enhancing the wall's appearance. This will not only improve the wall's durability, but also its aesthetic appeal. Section 9. Conclusion. Enjoy your new retaining wall.
Building a retaining wall with wall panels is an achievable DIY project that can enhance the functionality and aesthetics of your outdoor space. By following the steps outlined in this guide, you can create a durable and attractive structure that will provide years of enjoyment. Remember to plan carefully, prepare the site properly, and prioritize safety throughout the construction process. With a little effort and attention to detail, you can enjoy the satisfaction of building a retaining wall that adds value and beauty to your property.